is Richard Lansing. Stand by. Hello friends and welcome to this part 3 of how to troubleshoot your internet connection. So in part 1 I show you 3 uh, commands that you can use, ipconfig to know your IP address and also check for information on your internet adapters, also ping to check if you have connectivity between your computer and other remote computers and also devices like your router etc etc and also tracer to check if you have connectivity from each hub or each point uh, in the way of your um, data transfer in your connection. Now in part two, I basically show you that it's important to check that the cables are properly connected to your devices. And many times it's very easy to uh, bend a cable in a wrong way and that can cause all kinds of problems. Something as simple as disconnecting and reconnecting a cable sometimes can solve many internet problems. And in this part 3, I'm going to show you more advanced ways for you to try to troubleshoot your internet connection. And especially, uh, this video is going to be uh, focused on Windows systems. So the first thing you could do is to turn off all your firewalls and also your antivirus systems. And this is something that is important, it's, it's also kind of obvious sometimes, but it's kind of important that you do it. How do you turn off the firewall? So the Windows has a firewall and also most likely an antivirus enabled. So depending on what antivirus you have, you may be able to get into it and disable it temporarily or onto the next restart. Uh, that's the case with AVG, which is the one I use, uh, but others will be different. Now to disconnect or turn off the firewall, that's very simple. It just, I'm going to just go here, I'm not interested in this. Uh, I'm going to click here, Firewall. I'm going to open Windows Firewall. You see, it's not, right now it's open, it's on. So I can click on the option turn Windows Firewall on or off, and then select off and off. I'm turning everything off and click OK. Once you do that and you turn off both the firewall and the antivirus, you can try to see if your connection uh, works again. You can also, uh, it's sometimes recommended to restart the computer and check out again. Now, this you are doing this just to test if there is a problem with the firewall or the antivirus. Of course, later on, if you identify that something, uh, the internet went back after you do this, then you have identified the problem and you can take it from there. But of course, we want to enable that as soon as we finish troubleshooting. Now, the second thing you could do is update your network adapters and also disable or enable them. So how do you do this? Well, first you go to Control Panel, so right click Start, Control Panel. You go where it says uh, see, Network on the Internet. Then we're going to click here where it says, i move this down, and let me see. View Network Status, and then Change Adapter Settings. Now here is a list of all my adapters. I also have some virtual machines here, so I have some virtual adapters, but I am using a cable connection, a LAN connection that it shows here. So sometimes it's useful to click on it, then right click and select disable. When you click that, the internet will be completely stopped or the data will stop flowing from that connection. Many times, if you have too many of these adapters on or enabled, they may have conflicts between themselves. So it will be wise to disable everything and then only enable the one that you know provides the internet. In my case, it's Ethernet, it's a cable connection, but in yours maybe it's the Wi-Fi connection. So try doing that, restart the computer and see if that worked. If it didn't, we can continue to the next step. Another thing you could do if all that failed is to do a couple of things. If you are using a, a wireless connection, we can get a report of the wireless status using the following command. So this requires that you open a command prompt uh, using administrator modes uh, or in, in a privilege mode. So how do you do this? Well, I'm going to click here again. And I'm going to start command prompt, command, and you see when it pops there, I right click and click on run as administrator. You start that, if you don't have administrator 
credentials is going to ask you to enter them once you do that. And once you get here in the command prompt, you can type the following. Just get here. So you will type net sh space wlan sh show wlan report. You press enter and that's generating a wireless report or a wireless LAN report that is available in this address. Now, you don't have to type that in Internet Explorer or in um, Windows Explorer. What you could do is copy paste it. You click here on the top left of the window and you click where it says, um, let's see, edit and then mark. This allows you to mark or copy or select this address. Now, if you have done this, you can press Ctrl C or you can go back here, edit, and then click on copy. Now I can open my Windows Explorer or my File Explorer. I'm using the Windows key and the E shortcut. And I'm going to type here paste to paste that. It's opening the file in my default browser. And this will show a, a report of your wireless connection. Since I'm using an Ethernet wired connection, of course, I have nothing here, but if you have connected using a Wi-Fi, this report will have all kinds of useful information. So I urge you to explore it and see if you have things like errors or like network disconnections. All that is very important for you to see. Sometimes when you're troubleshooting wireless uh, connections, it may be a problem of uh, not just the the reception or the strength of your signal, but maybe also something regarded to the uh, access point. So it may be your problem or it may be the access point problem or the internet company problem. So this can help you determine that. And the report is pretty long. And on the bottom part, also there is something cool. It tells you, you know, uh, all the wireless sessions and uh, the time and what happens. So this is like a log of your Wi-Fi connection. One final thing that you can do, and this is in more extreme cases when everything failed, it's uh, you can refresh the TCP IP uh, connectivity in your computer or the um, files that provide the computer with internet connectivity. Again, this is more extreme and you should do it only in as a last resource. So what you do is you go back to your command prompt opened in as an administrator and you can type these three commands. So the first one is WinSock reset. That will reset the WinSock protocol. The second one is net sh int ip. That will refresh, will refresh the internet protocol files. And uh, again, you can try this too and see what happens after you res restart the computer. Now, another thing that has happened to me sometimes is that the DNS files that the computer stores get corrupted. So the DNS is um, kind of translator uh, service that uh, translate IP addresses into domain names. So for example, facebook.com, it will be trans translated to 269.259.5.3 or something like that. So many times when you access certain web pages frequently, those translations are stored in your computer. So if, if they can get corrupted and then you may not be able to access the, the website. And this happens because the computer tries to make things as fast as possible. So it saves some of these uh, translations in your d desktop. So it will save it a step of going online and retrieve this. So it will be faster. But again, like I said, this can be corrupt, can get corrupted and then cause some problems. So how can you do to guarantee that there is no problems used uh, in that uh, DNS save table. Well, there is a command that is very cool called ipconfig-flushdns. You type that here in the command prompt and that will erase or flush the D DNS table that is stored in your computer and it will start over. So nothing will be lost. It just, the computer will say, well, it will start fresh and it will start fresh recording uh, those translations into your computer. Well, guys, I hope this uh, helped you troubleshooting your internet connection, and thank you for watching.